Luigi, the cat, he kind of hopped onto the back of Finn's backpack and then just sat there with like an owl. Because anything that Cat did, Pug needed to do the same. We did the same with him. Pug went up on the backpack and just sat there, just jogging along. We decided to go traveling with the animals because we needed to change a lot of things in our lives. The animals were spending a lot of time at home while we were working. They thrived in the nature. Bandito and Luigi always felt most comfortable in each other's company. They relied on each other. Bandito the pug would always be the initiator between any kind of romancing, which often turned into play fighting. They loved annoying each other. <laughs> What was most surprising about their bad behavior was around dinner time when they would turn into complete angels, head rubbing, shoulder rubs, tail shakes, and the two of them would kind of team up on Finn and I and just be expected to be waited on because they could suddenly produce this incredibly good behavior. It was teamwork. They were never supposed to, but they were brothers. They were thick as thieves and they adored each other. Pug was acting slightly differently to normal and so we kept an eye on him. Next morning, we took him down to the vet because there is a gut feeling that Bandito was not in a very good shape. He started to breathe a bit differently and he was quite lethargic. He got so much medication that we brought home with him. And to cut a long story short, he didn't make it through the night. It was a massive shock for us. Luigi was on the sofa and so he knew what had happened. As much as any cat can, and as much as humans try to perceive emotions in their animals, Luigi showed his sadness. After Bandito passed away, Luigi was lonesome. We decided that it was quite important that we could distract Luigi and that he didn't feel like he was the only animal. After about two days, we saw an advert from Achakia Animal Rescue Center. His two kittens that were five weeks old had been left in a bin. It seemed a bit like fate. And we went to see them and we came home with them. But when Luigi met them, he was sad at the time. But within about three days, they started to bond with each other. And within about a week, they were sleeping together. They were more than tolerating each other and a new friendship was born, really. I'd like to think that was definitely one of the last gifts of Banditos to us because I think he'd look down and I think he'd smile.